listening to some James Brown to get myself moving today. Um, sometimes it's a bit of a struggle, isn't it? So we've got this uh, guy, which is a plaque vibrante, which is basically a uh, compactor. Uh, compact earth, compact gravel, um, landscaping, etc. Um, let's see how much we can do, but obviously we have um, all of this that we can compact. We could drive on it, um, but it'd be a bit more accurate to do it like this. And then we obviously got the stones coming uh, on Monday. So if we can get as much as we can done this weekend, there's some other areas where the earth needs to be compacted and filled in. Um, so I'm just going to go around as much as that as possible. Um, but yeah, I need to get all the tools ready, wheelbarrow, rake, shovel, so let's go get that. So the barn is being used as a dumping ground again. Uh, this is all the stones that I've sieved. You can see this is quite a pile. I'm going to try and reuse this somehow on the property, whether you use it for kind of like a hardcore before putting a base down, um, maybe in the barn. There's some wood over here which we've kind of organised um, that we're going to try and use for raised beds and creating some shelves, so a lot of that will go. We've also got a new electricity installed over here now, almost installed. We've taken the old one out. And we're also thinking about getting a water pipe coming along here so we can get some water over this side, whether that be just to have a just to have a tap over here to water the beds or, or get fill up for a watering can or whatever. Something that I'm not great at is getting organised and often I leave the tools everywhere. I leave everything everywhere. So I, I, I basically spend the first 10-15 um, to 15 minutes walking around trying to find where I left the rake uh, <laughs> and stuff. Uh, yeah, not good. Anyway, let's have a look at some of these roses over here. Rebecca's not a huge fan of that one, but this year it's absolute bumper considering we haven't touched this area because there's still this trench which I just have to fix one more little bit of pipe here but again this so hopefully will be compacted see if I can do it this weekend um, so we, we, we did we haven't really touched this garden we've let it kind of go a bit overgrown I've uh, got another rose bush over here I mean I can't take any credit for this this is kind of my father-in-law who's kind of pruned it back and and done it there are, we again we haven't really maintained it massively so there's a few bits that are kind of dangling off uh, but yeah it looks looks pretty good some spinach some leeks a little bit of kale garlic loads of pak choy radishes radishes, radishes where are they the oh radishes down here are they and we like cauliflower so we should we should get some cauliflower yeah just a few weeds you can see there's quite a few so we've got this massive top holding at 6 by 4 metres and we're hoping to cover this whole area. We may need maybe 6 to 8 but they're 10 euros each and it's the cheapest solution. The solution being that it will suppress the weeds. We're having a lot of grass come up in the beds and in the paths and that's because we haven't kind of covered it before and the cardboard will obviously only do so much and this is quite an aggressive weedy area so hopefully if we cover it from now until we do the same this side next year that will make our life a lot lot easier there's also some, some more wood chip for mulching which came from this lilac which i've started to chop down so i've started to turn these we took some but it wasn't quite ready so i've turned these two bays, um, start adding a little bit um, from here once that starts to get turned but I'm not sure where it's going to go to other than back in itself and that's a lot to move.
It's looking really good. I think it's, we're never going to get it perfectly flat. Um, but if you compress it and then any major divots, we can put some of the uh, pile onto and then go over it again. And then also when we put on the top layer of gravel, thin layer, that will further flatten it out. I think it should look good. That's good fun. So compacting all of this, I've still got a huge pile here which after it rained the other day it's got a little bit heavier. But here is a lot lower down than here so we don't need to put as much and I can obviously sieve this pile and use the stones. Hmm, hot day. Hot day to do this kind of work. So that's it for today's vlog, uh, as you can see we're compacting it and uh, we will continue that tomorrow so make sure you join in, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing.